It's tracking your face over mine, I'm offended. Cause I'm the prettier one. Oh! <laughs> Alright, this is where I see myself. Again, at. I'm still hiring, so if anyone's looking for a job... <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't need your drone anymore, Krika. <laughs> Finally here at Yukon Striker. We've been watching over this project for almost a year and a half now. So this feels really good to finally be here and get on Yukon Striker. And what better way to start it than with a bounty? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we've been tracking this project since a year and a half ago and it's finally open uh, for media day and I couldn't be more excited. I'm really excited for what the park has to offer today. I hear we're gonna get to ride around 1 p.m. and we're gonna get a reverse POV and I'm gonna make sure the reverse POV is my first reaction because I want to give you guys the honest first reaction of me on Yukon Striker because I've been told many times that uh, I make the weirdest faces and have the weirdest reactions when I'm on a ride. Um, so I'm super excited about that. This whole ride looks absolutely amazing. The theming is out of this world. Compared to Leviathan, it makes Leviathan look like a plug and play coaster. Um, that's how well themed it is. And they're not even done. As you can hear behind me, they're still working on Frontier Canada. Um, but it looks like Yukon Striker for the most part is complete. Um, and I can't wait to go check it out. So stay tuned uh, for more. We are standing in the old location of Orbiter. And as you can tell, it is no more. Um, so what it looks like they've turned it into is just a path. But what's interesting is there's they've left in the old like exit booth, but it doesn't look like it's fully the old exit booth. It looks like they've turned it into something protecting electrical. Um, they've got some speakers over here, some dirt piles still, um, no grass. There's still a lot of work to be done over here. And then there's a water piping system right behind me on the ground as well. So um, I don't know what this could hold for the future, but at this current moment, this plot of land can no longer house a ride. It doesn't look big enough to even house anything significant. If it were to have something in the future, it's probably going to be theming or maybe a kid's ride. If they decide to go down maybe the Dollywood route where they mix thrill rides with kid's rides instead of having the separate kid's section um, and the adult rides, which I actually find very interesting, I like how Dollywood does it. So hopefully Wonderland maybe decides to do something similar and we see maybe some family kids flat rides placed behind us. It would be perfect for that, but definitely don't see anything um, poster related fitting in here unless you see signs of Mindbuster being demolished and I definitely don't see signs of Mindbuster being demolished anytime soon. Um, and if I were to be honest, if I were to see Mindbuster demolished, I would definitely lean more towards a Splashworks expansion, which I'll explain in a different video why. Um, so I think you're going to see the next coaster kind of going over in the Action Theater Whitewater Canyon area if there is one coming in the next five years. But for now, let's not talk about that. We're going to talk about Yukon Striker and Frontier Canada moving forward. Yukon Striker. Don't, careful I don't fall. <laughs> like, what about that one time I fell down the hill and you made sure my camera was okay and not me? I laughed at him. He made sure my camera was okay and not me. Funny story, actually. <laughs> this ride is absolutely amazing. So much better than I actually anticipated myself. A front row ride is an absolute must. Let's go! What do you think of the ride walking by? It's good. It's really fun. 10 out of 10. Great addition to the park. Woo! This is just so photogenic. I love it. So what's been your favorite part about Yukon Striker so far? Probably the drop. It's just... It goes on forever. Yeah. It... I just can't, I don't have words for it. It's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I can't put my hands up going through that tunnel. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm six foot three, and I honestly feel like I'm about to lose my arms going through the tunnel. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's like a what? It's like a nice shot of Look at them planting all these trees. So. The ride is incomplete. Um, we did get confirmation. We just spoke to the VP of the park and we got a lot of information. I'm gonna put that into a video for you guys separate from our vlog here. So you're just gonna have to wait for that. Um, but lots of awesome information about uh, the future of Canada's Wonderland 
what Yukon Striker, what year it was supposed to actually come out, because it was supposed to come out earlier than here, and we got confirmation of that. But yes, they have a lot of work still to do. So as you can see behind me, it's an active construction site. Um, the buildings are not complete, so the mess hall is still being constructed. Uh, the Coca-Cola refresh station is still being constructed. Uh, the theming is not done for Yukon Striker yet, so there is still more surprises in the works. We got confirmation of that as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some uh, fog machine or mist machines popping up. Uh, definitely, I think you're gonna see that. This ride's insane. Other than Yukon Striker, what have you enjoyed about Media Day so far? This is your first media event. The food. The food? The free food. The food? What did you even get? Uh, I got the sliders, the, the the gourmet sausage, and lemon chicken. What was your favorite? The gourmet, the gourmet thing. The, the gourmet, gourmet sausage. sausage? The gourmet thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I looked over and the whole mid-course was shaking, so I kind of lost my <laughs> Skyhawk doing absolutely nothing. Typical, because there's guys on top of it, oh, eh? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see them. They're riding it like it's an elevator. Oh, we have Tyler from Coaster Kids here. What's up? How many screams do you rate this again? Five plus screams. Highest rating, crazy intense, awesome coaster. Number one at the park, arguably with other people. <laughs> I agree with you, don't worry. As you can see here, this is going to be the gift shop for Yukon Striker. So you'll exit down the exit ramp and come into the gift shop. There'll be fun picks and uh, merchandise sold here. The theming is absolutely impressive for Yukon Striker. It's definitely the best themed attraction at Canada's Wonderland. You got minecarts with rocks all over the place. It looks like you're on top of a mountain. Um, as you walk around the attraction, I really like that. It gives it this look like you're on the top of like a Yukon mountain. You got the Striker Mining Co. established in 1896, Yukon Territory. And look what we have here. If you remember those old teasers for the coasters and they had those designs at the bottom, uh, the teasers, there's the logo. So it definitely meant something. Again, it looks absolutely amazing. Riding Yukon Striker with no line is fabulous. I'll go up the exit ramp for you guys, actually. Yeah, go let's go up into the station. Yeah, let's go up into the station. Because it's the most themed station here. Klondike Outfitters. What's a Klondike, anyway? Well, it's an ice cream bar, of course. No, it's no, what is that <laughs> It's an what? area in, uh, oh. I think it's an area in the Yukon territory. <laughs> Correct me down below if I'm wrong. So the queue line oh is really small. Uh, it's smaller than Behemoth. Wait, this is it? This is it. No. So I'm a little nervous. Fingers crossed, this thing doesn't over... Uh... There's the queue line. One section of switchbacks. Then goes into a second section of switchbacks. Let's tip you upside down for a second so you can see. Hopefully that worked. Did you really have to add the sound effect? Woo! <laughs> so unnecessary. So unnecessary. So this woman has to wear a chicken suit because apparently she chickened out of riding it. No, is that actually what happened? I think so. <laughs> so if you look here, this is this bin system that they uh, took from a, a dive coaster in China. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to load your belongings onto um, these bins on the other side of the loading station and then the bins are going to travel up into the ceiling of Yukon Striker and they're going to come back down over here where you can pick them up and then exit down the ramp. It's so picturesque. I 
of just looks like the animation of just how smooth it is. Yeah, the ride is butter smooth. It doesn't have that rattle that Valraven has. And I rode Valraven opening year and it had a rattle then too. It wasn't smooth like this. This is butter smooth. The track, the ride is so smooth, you can feel the track shaking um, and not the train. It's absolutely amazing. And then look at this amazing shot of Yukon and Klondike Outfitters. Like, they've gone way overboard in terms of theming at this attraction. It's absolutely impressive. Um, I couldn't be happier. There's minor details all over the place and they're not even done. <laughs> so we've ridden in the first row, the second row, and uh, we have not ridden the back. We're gonna ride in the back and then obviously I will give you my reaction to which row I prefer. Right now, row number one has it. I've never been more scared. We have my reaction <laughs> on two rides for Yukon Striker. And uh, how do you think I did? Uh, your face in the video was uh, questionable. That's rude. You could have used a different word than questionable, Craig. Sorry, it was funny. I need, I need, I'm hiring, so if you're looking for um, a career this summer with Amusement Insiders, message me down below, because I'm kidding. <laughs> Rude. Now I got the cold shoulder. No, but yeah, my face was definitely questionable on that ride. It's too bad they couldn't get front row. Guests requiring alternate access must see a associate at ride entrance before was, proceeding. Was that word too big for you? It was too big for me. <laughs> I'm a coaster enthusiast. I'm not. <laughs> You're gonna offend everybody. There's Craig. I What rows have you ridden so far? First and only the first. That's it? Yeah. How many rides did you get on this? Two. Let's see, there's the on ride photo camera. Yeah, okay, so I was wrong. There was on ride photo. But it's not ready. I said the on ride photo wasn't installed yet, but I was mistaken because I was so scared. Um, I didn't <laughs> notice it. But my team just notified me that the on ride photo is right there, and they're right. This yeah. is why I have a team. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it from here. This is a terrible it's angle. Right. <laughs> Right here, Brendan. Right. Brendan, we gotta go get some shots over there. Right there. It's on the second drop out of the uh, the mid course break run. We have to get shots from over there after. Just look at that. Yeah. We have so much time. What time is it? I think it's already two. two. It's two. We have three hours of it's time left. It's two. So. I think we'll get a ride on the back row, is what we'll do, and then we'll go film again. Um, ride it until... Ride it until... Uh, yeah, um, I have an announcement to make soon about a, a little ride challenge for myself that's going to help with fundraising for a special organization. So hopefully I'll make the, be able to make that announcement soon. They're planting a lot of wet marsh plants too, so that's going to look really nice. Again very impressed with what they're doing. I can see river work they're still doing near the turnout of the station. Again, it's a very active construction site. I'll show you again. Other than the lift, the ride is dead silent. Again, I know I'm biased, but I really love this ride. What do you think of it? Yukon or Yukon. Oh, Yukon's amazing. <laughs> what do you think of Yukon? It's good. Yeah. All right, Tyler. So we just got off Yukon Striker. What are your honest thoughts on the ride? It's absolutely amazing. Uh, the only other dive coaster I've ridden is Shikra at Bush Gardens Tampa and this absolutely demolishes it. The drop is absolutely insane through the tunnel. If you're on an NC, you feel like you're just gonna get like, not gonna make it through. The hang time on the zero G roll is incredible. You feel like you're just gonna fly out and there's a ton of air time on the coaster. I love the vest restraints. They do tighten on you a little bit more, but they are 
super comfortable. Yeah, I would definitely agree. Compared to Valraven, the best restraints are a lot more comfortable. Um, being six foot three and a little bigger, uh, they didn't bother me at all. And I find the seat very comfortable. There's definitely a lot more leg grooves in the uh, seat that comes down on you, and I like that. Yeah. Um, and the inversions are insane, but what's your favorite element on this ride so far? Uh, it's really close between the first drop in the front row and the zero G roll. Because, I don't know, the drop, if you have decent room, you just feel like you're flying out. Mm -hmm. the zero G roll, you just get most hang time I've ever gotten on anything. Yeah, that drop goes on forever. It's 223 feet, it's the same height as Valor, but that drop's got that extra height, I think, yeah. behind us. Uh, it's definitely impressive. A front row ride on this coaster is a must. Definitely love it. Um, the theme towels, what do you think about the theming? The theming is incredible. Best I've ever seen at a Cedar Fair Park. Uh, haven't been on Copperhead, but this looks better. They're still doing construction, so we don't know what's fully ahead yet but the station looks absolutely incredible. The trains look beautiful. There's the station, around the station, there's just like all boxes that are like Yukon, and there's this really beautiful Frontier Canada sign as you walk into the section. Mm, I really like the Frontier Canada signs. I like the attention to detail. There's a lot more uh, to come. So we did have an off-camera interview with the VP of the park. Um, and we got some interesting information. So as you can tell, I don't know if you can see it behind us, but Frontier Canada is nowhere close to being done. Unfortunately, the weather over the last month has set the project back just a bit. Um, so we're looking at maybe, if I had to take a guess, a two to three week delay on Frontier Canada. It looks like they're really trying to rush the buildings, but even some of the buildings that have been complete for weeks now are nowhere near done. I honestly thought the merch store was gonna be open and that doesn't look like it's anywhere near um, done construction. But other than that, it looks really impressive. I will say there's a lot of work going on inside Whitewater Canyon. So that's what I thought was interesting. As I was going up the lift hill, you get this great view of Whitewater Canyon and there's construction workers actually inside Whitewater Canyon doing work on Whitewater Canyon. So we'll see what that is um, as soon as uh, the park opens and we can get over there. Um, but do you have any final thoughts on your um, bus right Must come down to ride. No matter where you're from, if you have the chance to or if you have to try to, just get down here. Do whatever you can to get down here. It's totally worth the drive, the flight, whatever you need to get here. Just ride this thing. And try, you must try front and back because everyone is having different opinions. Yes, I'm very confused between front versus back. I yeah. like the front better, but the back pulls you over that drop and it's insane. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is Tyler Space Coachy, C O C C I. And my Instagram's at Coaster Addicts, C O A S T E R A D D I C T S, and we'll be having lots of Yukon Striker photos, lots of off ride content, and more to come. Yes, more go come follow him because we're going to be collabing with him a yeah, lot this summer. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon. All right, so I'm here with Tyler, who has ridden Yukon Striker 21 times? Yeah, 21. 21 today. times. I've been on it five times. I lucked out. They closed the ride a little early, so that's a little unfortunate. But, Tyler, what is your favorite part about Yukon Striker? Uh, Yukon Striker is amazing. It's way better than Val Raven. Um, I like in the back better than the front because you get more whipped in the back. But the front is still good because if you go on the end seat on the left side, you get some great hang time on the vertical loop. It's amazing. The theming is great. I think it's the, it's, I think the second best theming at Cedar Fair Park other than Colorado Carowinds, which I saw two weeks ago. So it's like it's outstanding. I'm blown away from about, I mean Yukon. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you prefer? Do you prefer Copperhead Strike or do you prefer Yukon Striker? Um, I per I, I think I prefer Copperhead because the hang time's better. But Yukon's definitely Yukon's definitely the best dive coaster I've ever been on, and you, everybody needs to come down here and ride this thing. Awesome. Where does it rank at the park? Um, it's number three for me. Oh, <laughs> we differ there. But everyone has their own favorites, right? What's yeah. your favorite thing about a coaster? Um, I like, well, I, I personally like rough coasters, so I also, I also like rough coasters, I like airtime, I like intensity, that's why I like, my, my number one coaster is I-305, for example, because it's so intense, it's so aggressive, like, that, those type of coasters I like, so that's why I like Intamin RMC, BMN's up there too, since I've been, like, I've been, I've been, like, growing up here for a long time now. That's awesome. Do you think I overhyped the ride? No. <laughs> No, I don't think you did. It's a good ride, right? Yeah. It's awesome. Well, today was successful. Was it? Yeah, it was pretty successful. <laughs> How so? Uh, I got on Yukon 17 times. It's tracking your face over mine, I'm offended. 
Because I'm the prettier one. Oh. Whoa. All right, this is where I see myself. Again, at. I'm still hiring. So if anyone's looking for a job. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't need your drone anymore, Krika. <laughs> yeah, say what you will, but Hermione will always be on the sweater. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, we gotta go. Someone's filming B-roll for us, and we gotta go get our camera. Oh, I forgot about him. Yeah. Space waster. A space waster? A space waster. Wait, did I say that right? Uh, yeah, a space waster. A waste of space, maybe? A no. space waster? I'm a waste of space. That's a space waster. Oh. Kind of like flight deck, you know, time Oh. They kind of just sit there and do Where nothing. Where is he? He's over there. there. <laughs> oh. Our photographer. In the wild. That's, that's you last year. <laughs> so, some might be asking, what are we gonna do now? Well, King's that's Island, 